Uh, today, because the ground is uh, hard, we had a very heavy frost last night. Um, it's down to about minus 8, but I think parts of England got down to about minus 15. Um, but we're using today to get these um, blue um, game bird feeders out of our woods and out of the um, out of the game maze, sorry, out of the maze and really back into the woods uh, to keep uh, the birds fed over the winter. Um, don't always just feed game birds, but they feel, f feed other uh, small birds as well. Uh, but because we're really stopping the uh, reared bird shoot um, this year, uh, these are going to be kept more in the woods, but also uh, out in the open on the old airfield, away from woods and uh, places where sparrowhawks might find useful places to roost and that's so we can start feeding um, uh, grey partridge as well and try and encourage them as much as we can on the farm. Uh, being an organic farm obviously we're not spraying insecticides so I would hope that um, if anyone's going to try and um, get grey partridges to do well uh, because their chicks um, uh, depend on insects much more in their early stages of life uh, than um, red leg partridges do. Hopefully we'll uh, be successful but only time will tell. Uh, just a quick scan round to show you that um, we still have quite a lot of snow uh, here and uh, alluding to um, a video that I posted before, uh, cold weather is very good for us because um, it uh, cleans up fungal diseases in our crops especially in our beans but also in the wheat. It's been very mild this winter and so quite a lot of build-up has occurred but hopefully this cold weather and the snow will help address that. Um, uh, it also, um, the, the frost also helps to um, break down any clods that we left uh, in any of our crops making them easier to hoe hopefully or use with our harrowcone weeder.